Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus. I am very excited again today to come to you with this message of Jesus Christ our Lord. Today I want to talk about concentrate on who you are and not what is going on around you. In other words, focus on your position in Christ and not your condition. Praise the name of the Lord. This is something that came to my heart this morning and I felt like, you know what, let me talk about this because this is something very crucial. In our world today, in our experiences today, we tend to focus on what we are going through, our condition, what we are facing instead of our position in Christ, instead of who we are, where we are from our origin, our identity. You know, we don't focus on those things today and it hurt us. We go through a lot of mistaken ideas and we end up hurt. We end up defeated. We end up crying. We end up feeling sad about ourselves because we are concentrating our energies, our strength, our attention, our focus, we put everything on our condition and not our position in Christ. So I would like you to pay attention right now to take a cup of coffee, take a cup of tea, or just relax. We will talk about this in a couple of minutes, we will be done. Praise the name of the Lord. So, I would like to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. You can read from your translation, but I'm sure it will sound not anything way far or different from the King James Version. So, this is what it says. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You see, I said it will not sound crazy to you. It might sound a little different, but you will get what I just read from your translation. So, when you read that Bible verse, what comes in your mind? What do you think about? Paul says, therefore, if whosoever be in Christ, whosoever is a new creature, all things, whatever is old, whatever is yesterday, whatever is past, is completely gone away. And he said, behold, all things, He's not saying certain things. He's saying all things, everything is gone. Everything is brand new. There is a new day. It is a new beginning. This is an announcement that no, 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 no. There's no past anymore. There's no yesterday. There is nothing that you have done before. No, it is now and now only, not yesterday. So the message today is concentrate, focus, place your attention on your position in Christ and not on your condition, your present position, condition, whatever you are right now, whatever you can see when you look at yourself, when you look at whatever belongs to you, you do not have to concentrate on those things, but you have to concentrate on your position in Christ Jesus. You can say, well, pastor, this is not just easy to do. It sounds good, but it's not easy to do. 
But let me tell you something. As a believer in Christ, as someone who awakened to the knowledge of God, you have been placed, you have been mystically located in the person of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? This simply means that in the eyes of God, when the Father look in the world, what does he see? No, he does not see you apart from Jesus. He does not see you far away where Jesus is not. What the Father sees is Jesus when he looks at you. And when he looks at Jesus, who does it see? He doesn't just see Jesus, he sees you. So meaning that Jesus and you became one. So your situation, your identity, whatever you are, is not of you if it is separated from Jesus. You have been placed, you have been located in Christ Jesus. So whatever Jesus is, you are, and whatever he has, you have equally. Praise his name. This is something known as positional truth. The truth about your position cannot change. Just like your identity cannot change. Let me ask you a question. For those of you who have kids, does your kid DNA change when they do something contrary to what you expect from them? No! You cannot change their DNA. They cannot change their DNA because they have inherited that from you. So that does not change. Regardless of who they are, regardless of what they are doing, regardless of how bad or good you say or think they are, or they say or think you are, that does not change that you are their parent. That does not change. So let us be focused on what we are trying to talk here about. Your position in Christ is the source from which your identity and nature are derived. Your position in Christ is the source. It's the energy from which your identity, your nature are derived. Your identity and nature are not derived from your dad and your mom. No, you can inherit from them some habits that can be communicated to you by the DNA you have. Like some people can have the personality not far from their parents. But the truth of the matter is these things cannot influence your identity or your nature. Your nature and identity have been given to you even before you were given as a gift to your parents. Amen to that. So, it is eternally established in the Father's presence that you have His identity and you have His nature. This is not a choice that we have to do or we have to make. This is what God already decided. Amen. It is unchangeable. And this, by virtue of what God did for you, not by what you did for God. This is not because you have done so much good. This is not because you have done so much bad. But God decided to have you as his own. He decided to have you as his children his kid, his son, his daughter that he loves so much. Amen. This is not our work. We didn't do 
too much good for us to have his identity, his nature. We didn't do too much good for that. And we didn't do too much bad to lose that either. This is the gift of God. And whenever God gives, then he knows the recipient before he do whatever he wants to do. He knows you better than you know yourself. That is the reason why he is filled, full with the joy when he is giving you all that he has given you. Praise his name. So you need to take note of these things that God did it all by allowing Jesus Christ on the cross to break down the veil that used to blind us. Hallelujah. The veil used to be the barrier. We could not see beyond the veil. So God did it and now he wants you to know that you have his identity and you have his nature. Whatever you can believe and whether you are aware of it or not, you have received a right standing before God in Christ. You might not be aware of it. You might not believe that. But in Christ Jesus, you have been made righteous. You are called the righteousness of God. This is what you are called based on your identity, on the nature you carry today. You are God's righteousness. Hallelujah. This is an exciting news for me. Your condition is what you are in your daily walk. Do not confuse that with your identity. The condition you are in does not define your identity, does not define your position in Christ. Whatever you can experience does not define who God said you are. So in most cases, the believers are more aware of their condition than their position. That's what most of us end up doing sometimes. We are so more aware of what we are going through, what we are experiencing, what, what we are facing, and we forget completely, we forget our identity. We forget our origin. We completely forget that. Completely forget that. Because of what? Because of what we are going through. And this is caused by us focusing, concentrating on our condition, our daily experiences. This is not what the Father wants for you and I. This is not what Jesus came for. Jesus came to show you that, hey, you originate from God the Father. You came from above. Your value, your standard of life is higher than what you are experiencing right now. You have to take your eyes off what is diminishing the quality of life that God has already given you. And you have to place your eyes and your focus and your attention on the things that will rise your belief and make you see and live the life that God already know you have been designed to live from the inside. We talked last about the power of your imagination. The awareness of our identity, our origin, our beginning plays a big role on experiencing the power of your imagination. You need to see yourself as the Father sees you. And this means you need to concentrate on your identity, on your position in Christ. You need to concentrate on that. Praise His name. 
we allow things to happen to us simply because we don't want to take responsibility as sons and daughters and see things as sons and daughters. We would rather sit and complain and talk about what is not working, what is not happening, rather you can do better. You can think the way you are supposed to think. You can see the way you are supposed to see when everyone sees black or right or left or red, you are supposed to see what your father sees. You are supposed to think the thoughts that are in the father's mind. Sometimes we want to be like everyone. We want to speak like everyone. We want to think like everyone. But you are not everyone. You are unique. You are special. You are you only. You cannot be everyone. You are you. You are, you, you are not your dad. You are not your mom. You are not your brother. You are not your sister. You are not your best friend. You are not your pastor. You are not the people you are with most of the time. That's why whenever you want to think like someone, you, you miss yourself. You miss represent the unique person that you are. You don't allow the expression of your uniqueness in Christ. You are so unique that the second you try to do someone else, you start to be someone else, you miss yourself. There will always be an emptiness in you because you are not being you. The you that the Father know, the you that is revealed by the person of Jesus Christ, the you that have been made before the foundation of the world, whenever you don't be you, you don't do you, you miss you. You miss yourself. And that leaves you with pain, regret, a lot of bitterness because you have missed to be you. So concentrate on your position. Concentrate on your identity. Concentrate on your origin rather than your challenges, your mountains, whatever is around you. Concentrate on what the Father says about you. Concentrate on what the Word of God reveals about you. Concentrate on the promises of God that have been fulfilled in the person and in the work of Jesus Christ. Concentrate on those things. Concentrate on those things. Say with me, I concentrate on the Father's thoughts about me. Today, I ask you, Spirit of God, to allow my mind to be always Christified. Always Christified. When I think, when I allow the thoughts in my mind I pray that those thoughts be completely directed and inspired by the wonderful spirit of Jesus amen that is what will happen hallelujah that is what will happen those thoughts when they are inspired by the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, the Spirit of Christ, they cannot leave you with fear. They cannot leave you with doubt. They cannot leave you with bitterness. They will leave you with joy. They will energize you. They will boost your confidence because you will see what the Father sees. You will see what Jesus sees. You will see what the Spirit sees. And reveal amen this is a very very crucial message for today I'm about to close do not stop yet wait a little bit amen so this is the result of so much failure and stagnation for when you concentrate on your condition that's the result of why people are stagnant people don't experience progress people don't experience the things that are theirs in Christ. Why? 
because they concentrate on what is going wrong what is their condition even what is going right i will say whether it's going right or wrong if you focus on your condition you are doing wrong you should focus on your position your origin your identity in christ because most of the time we think that when everything is going right then that's where god is present when everything is going wrong then god has have left us that is not the truth god is not just with us when everything is going the way we want them to go but he is with us all the time even when they don't go the way we think things should go he is present amen say with me god is present with me in everything i do everywhere i go amen yes he is hallelujah he is with you you have to stop and i have to stop to live by our feelings we have to stop judging people by what we see about them their appearances we have to stop being self-conscious self-centered we have to stop all these things are not helping we focus on the wrong things we concentrate on the wrong things also when you focus on people then you are looking only when you are looking at them you are looking at them as assets wherever you feel like you can gain something you can have a promotion you can have a yes that will take you to something else in your position the position i'm talking about in the, in society something that will make your life gain some worth in front of men you would think that is god right there so you would try to only give your attention to those that can bring something to you and you start to call those that are not able to give anything to you you would think that you are not supposed to connect with them that is exactly what the world is showing us today they the big ones are trying only to have the big ones around them the rich are trying only to be rich and then to be friends with those that are in their same standard of life things are just going that way because we have stopped to focus on our identity our origin our position in Christ and we have completely given our entire energy our eyes our mind our our brains everything we have placed on our condition so whatever it takes to reach my goal to reach your goal to reach our goal we will do it regardless of what the word of Christ reveal regardless of what we are experiencing that is wrong that is not right so to concentrate to focus to give your entire attention to your position means you rest by faith in the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly far beyond above what you can ever think or imagine Let me say it again in another way. To concentrate on your position means to rest by faith in who you are in Christ, which will shift you from being self-conscious or conscious only to the people who can add something in your life to be Christ conscious. your consciousness will not be self-centered or only centered towards those that have the ability 
to add something to your life, but it will be Christ-centered. And whatever mind is Christ-centered, whatever human being who is Christ-centered, he will always be order-centered. Not, again, those that are able to add something to your life, but order-centered meaning everyone. Everyone. But the object, what drives you to be order-centered is because you are christ centered praise the name of the lord i would like to leave you but i will pray first and i would like to invite you to take this teaching share with your friends let the world hear that we are not supposed to concentrate on our position on our on our earthly position our situation our experiences our condition but we are supposed to focus concentrate and completely give our attention to our position in christ our identity and who we are in him rose we are we are sons of god daughters of god we are of the royal family the heavenly family and we are here because the Father has given us all things, even his creation. He has us to enjoy whatever he has made. Praise his name. This is the word of Christ. Share with your friends. Tag someone. Let him hear what the Father has to say. Let us pray. Dad, you are our Father because you are the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have mystically placed us in your beloved son that we might be as he is and where he is. Today, we all focus our minds, our attention, our strength, everything we have and we are we are focusing all in Christ. For it is in Him that we live, that we move, and that we have our being. We concentrate on our position in Him and not our condition. We thank you, Holy Spirit, because you help us to do so today. In Christ we prayed. Amen and amen. I would like to invite you again. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, I will invite you to subscribe and I will invite you to share this message with everyone you know. And also, by the way, you can be enlightened every time on this channel. We are posting every Wednesday and every Friday. You can even go back to our previous messages. You will see so much that we share. And you can listen to them and allow your mind to be completely transformed by the power of love, by the Holy Spirit, so that you should completely realize your origin, your identity, and the reason why you are where you are. Praise His name forever. Love you guys. Bye-bye.